Hello everybody. I am back with a vengeance. I am going to conquer the injecting clear or injecting colored resin into clear and I'm going to conquer it big time because this whole geode I am about to fill up with approximately 20 ounces of clear resin and four ounces of colored resin. Resin I'm using tonight is Stone Coat and I use the regular old countertop. It works perfectly fine for me. So this is the mold that I showed you guys how to make in the last video. I have it sitting on a big round piece of pine that will eventually become a table for me. And I have my resin mixed up. In the center, I have some broken mirror, and I found this at Michael's. It is by Ashland. It's decorative filler. They have it over by the stones that you fill up the vase. You can see it's pretty. One side is glass, and the other, the back of it is mirror when they cr uh, crush it up. So that's the shiny pieces that you're seeing, the back sides of it. Uh, every piece has that on the back of it, but I didn't flip them all over correctly, so I have some sticking up. That's the way I want it. So my colors are going to be uh, all the res. I'm going to use the Peacock Dance, the Purple Gold, the Lucky Green, and Molten Gold. I have my big tub of resin all mixed up. And I'm just checking through it again to make sure there are no unmixed portions. And it took me quite a while to do this. When you mix large amounts like this, you have to be really, really careful because uh, it can go wrong. If you don't mix it all in, you're either going to have a piece that doesn't cure properly or you're going to see like streaking through your piece. It, and the streaking happens when you have it mixed up like 95% of the way and there's a couple little pieces of that stringy stuff floating through it. Um, if you mix it only, you know, half of the way and there's a lot of that stringy stuff, then it's not going to cure. So let me get my gloves on and we will go at this like a beast. This will be the last geode I do for a while because I want to tackle some of the other projects that I have in mind and because they take up a lot of resin. I mean, I bought this gallon set after I used the code from Abstract Boss and got my discount. Uh, I think it was $30 off. It was 95 so you take 30 off, it's 65 but then you add in 15 for shipping, so it was 80 bucks. and I used almost a quarter of it, and it won't even, I don't think it'll even be thick enough. I might still have to add more clear, so these things cost a lot of money to make, and uh, while I enjoy making them, my bags are almost to the door right now after my trip to Michael's today so I gotta chill so I just want to show you something when I mix resin no matter what size it is I will take the stick and scrape down the sides because you will be surprised no matter how much you mix this you will still find little pieces of that stringy stuff in there and I see one already and I'm telling you, I did this for at least five to ten minutes. It's just it gets caught on that, the side of the container. And another smart thing to do um, when mixing large amounts like this is to pour this into another jug and give it a second mixing. Uh, I think I got it all. There was just one little one I saw in there. All 
All right. So I'm going to take four cups. These are going to be my colors. And I'm going to separate that first before I dump this clear in there. These big paint sticks, you can get them at Home Depot, Lowe's. They're usually a dollar for like 10 of them. Some of, sometimes you can get them for free. My Home Depot does not give them for free. They make you buy them. Unless you're get, buying a gallon of paint, then you have to pay for them. So, what I'm going to do to make my life a little easier is dump some of this in here so it's not so heavy. Just looking around here. I have a little piece of silicone there. And of course, a Clyde hair. I had gotten some silicone on the plastic right here. Hopefully it doesn't bother it. This plastic acetate is like a magnet, especially in the winter for any type of hair or or um, dust particles, anything like that. So here we go. Now for this, I'm going to try not to use a lot of heat, just the torch a little bit for the bubbles. Because that's what I did wrong with the last one. I, I put too much heat on it and it made the uh, gold spread out. These I'm going to fill approximately a quarter of the way. I'm going to do less gold because gold can take over. All right, this is half of the way. I light on this one. And I'm going to mix these colors for you so you can see how much of that paste that you really need to use. It's not much at all. The pastes are different than the micas. They're a lot stronger. I'm going to keep a little clear in case I want to do glitter or anything like that. So that's half full also. I'm just going to put it to the side. And I'm going to put the rest of this in here. We'll see how my silicone barrier works. Hopefully, I didn't miss any spots, but I'm sure I did. I always do. I'm hope I was hoping this could be like a one layer thing. But I don't know, I don't think it'll be thick enough. I'm just letting it drain. don't want to scrape that bottom that's for sure because you never know what's hiding under there there could be a little patch of hardener what I'll also do is I'll scrape the inside of this and get like a little wad of resin to help hold the stick up against it so it's going to cure overnight like this and then I'm going to be able to rip the stick out with the resin inside of the cup and it'll be like new I 
We've got a new flashlight, guys. I'm so excited to show you it. <laughs> it's funny, the older we get, the, the silliest things make us happy. All right, so let me give this a torture-roo really quick. There's a lot of bubbles down there still that need to rise up. A lot of them. They lo it looks very speckled right now that those are bubbles. Look at my new LED light. I got it at Lowe's. And it was $15, but it was $5 off. So I got it for $10. And it is the bomb.com. This way you can see all your little fur balls and your uh, dust particles. It needs to be LED. That's the best one. Especially if you have pets, you really, really need this. That's something on the plastic. All right. So I'm going to let this sit for a second to let the bubbles rise up. And while that is happening, I'm going to mix these colors up for you. So first I'm going to do the gold. This is the molten gold. I have, let's see here. Too much just what I need so I just dip the tip in there that didn't sound right there's a about a quarter of a cup of resin start with a small amount and then if you need more add more you could always add you cannot take away um, paste can be expensive especially when you want to buy every single color like I do so only use what you need so Check it, make sure the um, opacity of it is strong enough for you, meaning that the darkness of it is good enough. If you want it a little lighter, use a little less. If you want it really, really a solid gold, then you add more. The key is if you need to add more, do not use this stick, get a clean stick. Okay, I think I'm going to add just a tiny, tiny bit more. I can't believe I just did that. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I know you saw it. What a ding dong. I sat my cup right in the wet resin. I forgot there was resin in there. Holy balls. I'll tell you. I just want to make sure that it's nice and deep. Okay, what a mess that is. I need to get another cup for this. What a ding dong. There we go. Okay, so here's the gold. Very, very pretty color. I think probably one of Larez's best sellers is the molten gold. Okay, 
Next up will be Peacock Dance. Beautiful color. And I know a lot of these are sold out right now, but she is getting more in. Just be patient. It's well worth the wait. Save your money so you could buy a bunch of them all at once. There's the Peacock Dance. I don't know if you could see it. I'm sorry, my stick is in the way. Again, that did not sound right. I really need to start watching what I'm saying. <laughs> then again, I'm probably the only one with a dirty mind. So, my cup is half full. I want this to be nice and dark. So... I have probably a half a teaspoon worth on the end of the stick. These mix in like a dream. When you use the paste, always scrape your stick to make sure you get it off. If there's some left on the end, this way you can push it down into the resin and use it up. And here's peacock dance peacock dance gorgeous next up my favorite lucky green I'm going to do it to the side here it's all going to be the same amount just like a half a teaspoon worth on the end of the stick just running out of room Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Chrome green. Oh, love it. I could literally sit here and just keep mixing it and looking at it on the stick. And last will be the purple gold. I know Susanna, who is the owner of Lorez, is constantly working on making new colors. She, she hit it out of the park on this metallic line, I'll tell you. She's got a lot of new ones coming out, too. Can't wait. All right, so I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm going to be using syringes to inject these colors into the clear. There's the purple gold. Okay. So I'm going to give it a quick torch again. Hopefully some of these have risen. And then again, I want to go through with my flashlight because I don't want to deserve, disturb whew, the uh, setting my clock on fire. I don't want to disturb the design once it's in there too much. Oh my God, that's bright right in my eyeball. I have 
something there. I don't know what that is. Hey okay, guys, it should be good. One more quick torch down here. I'm going to use the smaller one. To get right up around the edge. And this little one that I have in my hand is just a cigarette lighter. Woo! That's running out. It's just a little cigarette lighter. Butane torch thingy. Alrighty, here we go. Doo -doo -doo. I'll show these again. I got them at Walmart around Halloween. $2.54 for eight of them. I have to go back there and see if they're on clearance. They're nice, big, thick syringes, so the resin goes in them nice and easy. So I'm going to try to use only three of them. I have four colors, but I'm thinking I'll do the green first inside of one and then the blue right after it. Or maybe I'll just use all four so I don't cross-contaminate. I just hate to waste my last four. But here we go. So first is going to be the purple. So you just want to stick the tip of this into the resin and pull up. And it's going to be a little hard because resin is thick. And while it's fluid... I'm going to suck 95% of it up. Okay. I'm going to hold it upside down for a second. Not for any reason other than a hair I just saw. So here we go. Wish me luck. I'm just using light pressure and I'm going to follow the design of the geode. And I believe that I had the tip of the syringe underneath the resin. I think I did. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. And I want to see if I could kind of drag it out a little bit in some areas. Looks kind of cool, huh?
This is way too cool, guys. Wow. All right, I'm going to put the purple to the side for the minute. That is really, really cool. Next up, the green. I probably shouldn't have whisked that out until it was time, though. I should have put all of them down in there. But that's okay. I got this. We go right next to this one. Oh, it's kind of dragging it next to the green is pulling the purple in. that this is a lot of fun to do <laughs> all right next will be the blue or the peacock dance So I'm going to go on the outside wet. Which is why I shouldn't have pulled the purple out yet. But it is what it is. Those are really, really beautiful, those colors. And now I'm going to put some gold in between them. This purple is doing some amazing things over here. I don't want to put a lot of gold one to two lines at the most so I'm going to put some here first We mix together a little bit there, which in the end doesn't matter because I'm going to be swirling or doing something with them. All right, I'm going to do another layer of gold um, in between the purple and the, the peacock.
That is me sucking resin out of a cup. I'm going to get really close to this peacock. I'm trying to push it out towards the edge, the peacock, by using the gold right up next to it. I think I'm running out. Yep. You see all the air bubbles? That it's fine now. I'll get rid of those. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to mix up a little more gold, guys. Just a wee bit. Just for that one area there. I want to be able to get a nice thick line in there. This ought to be very interesting when it's done, that's for sure. It's either going to be a total hot mess, or it's going to be pretty. hard because I don't want to mix up a lot of that. I'll just stop with that for now with the gold. Alright, so I'm going to come in with some more green here. Gonna refill. And then some more of the peacock in here.
You can almost see how it's pushing the other color, the tip of my needle and the color itself being injected. I may have prematurely put those rocks down. I may have, well, I'm definitely going to have to add more. I should have waited for those. And then a little bit more of the blue. All right. Oh boy, am I scared. Well, I'm gonna move it around first before I use the torch on it. I have a big chopstick from Walmart. And now basically I'm going to draw in the way that I want the resin to go, if that makes sense. I'm going to pull it in the direction that I want the colors to go. I'm just going to keep doing that until I get a pattern. That I'm happy with. The amount of depth is insane. Love, love, love this right here. I am not touching that anymore. Definitely going to have to add more rock. And I think I need to pull this in a little bit.
Okay, guys. What I'm going to do is let this cure. And then I'm going to come back, put more rock, fill it in with clear, and maybe do some uh, glitter. And that's going to be it. I absolutely love this. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these. I can tell you that right now. So let me uh, take you in so you can see what's going on here. Okay. And I have to pop the air bubbles, obviously. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. There's going to be so much depth in this thing. And once I get the uh, center done, it's going to be amazing. So, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will uh, see you manana. Have a great night and happy pouring.